But golly, it's this finishing this building has been nuts. Oh, I'm With a sure. capital N. Every now and then I think maybe maybe I did bite off more than I should have. What made me think I could pull that off? I'm close. Yeah. It's just frustrating. I heard that you shoot for September. Mm -hmm. Should be. I think we ha we'll have it all done by then. Elevator is being installed right now. Otis is over there working on it. Um, the second floor is almost done. It's exciting to get it done, but gosh, the home stretch here. It's ex it's really fun when you go, I got this new project. And then at the, at the very end, it's kind of like building a house. You know, when you're by the time you're putting the trim, everybody's ready to kill each other. Ready? <laughs> a lot of details yet. To there are still a lot of details. I thought, what if we had like a promo video, like a recruiting type thing? Like a recruiting type video. I mean, with Dr. Haywood moving to Utah to be close to his kids and grandkids, we're definitely going to be trying to seek out another physician to come into town. And obviously we were trying to recruit a reproductive endocrinologist. That'll become easier after the lab is finished and it's getting really close to finished. That way we'll have something to show someone when they come in. Um, and honestly, I'd like to have one new physician, a general OBGYN next year, and then maybe another one either the year after that or two years after that. Why are you doing these vlogs? Gosh. Why do you do these vlogs? Why, why do you want people to see you? That's an excellent question. I just thought it would be a good way for patients and potential future patients to know me and to know my office staff. So primarily, I guess that's it. Just so they would know who they're walking in to see when the time comes. I meet people sometimes that are other people's patients and like I've talked about before, there's some great physicians here in town. And it's just nice when patients say, oh, I know who you are. I watch all your vlogs. And I think that's really cool. And you know, they're happy with their physician. They're not necessarily coming to me, but they know who I am. And so the vlogs have kind of done what I had hoped would happen. Is at least people know what my practice is all about. Okay. How are things going? I think really well. Just try and pick the final touches. So what's That's going the hard on? part. What's going on today? Like what's what's happening? Um, they're pretty much finished upstairs. They're cleaning up so that they can start moving in upstairs. And you know we just have a bunch of trim stuff and paint here, and we should be good to go. This is the first time I've been in here with like seeing drywall up. Still, yeah. Still. Got the new granite in, which I think turned out really pretty. Okay, that was check-in. People come through. There'll actually end up being a double door. There'll be a little breezeway that'll be made out there. And then that'll be check-in. You come back here. You have the bathrooms um, for patients. There's a lab right here, which is about probably three or four times larger than our old lab, which we needed. This is the check-out. And There'll be a couple of people working here, maybe answering the phone. A lot of the other phone stuff will be upstairs in the administrative area. Okay. Or what we'll be doing is people will be coming through these two doors and they'll be exiting out this door. Okay. And then you can go out the double doors out there. That way also, we have flow. flow. That yeah. way you don't, when, after people check out, they don't have to go walk back through the waiting room. They can just go right there, down the hallway, they're outside. This is the embryology lab. It is a special room with special ventilation, two rooms, the embryology lab and the procedure room where they're gonna be doing egg retrievals. It had to be a positive pressure room. So um, you'll see some gauges on the walls around that make sure that we have the appropriate amount of pressure to force air moving outward and instead of allowing dust and things to come in. Back there's where I'm gonna sit to document on patients and then I can just watch traffic and watch people while I do it. Well, let's go see what it looks like. Okay. Explain what this is again. These are exam rooms. 
this is the room where I created that doctors or extenders, um, providers will sit here and work on the computer, document on patients, watch people walk down the street, watch the stoplight. <laughs> Just be able to see people moving around outside. It is. I can. I, I love watching the watching it out here. I think we'll make it so it won't be so easy to look inside. Yeah. Nice thing is you can walk right on over to the hospital. Very nice. Two minutes, depending on how long I have to wait here to jaywalk. <laughs>